Here we go. It was released this week. The new Space Pi X4. I'm going to open up this box and take a look at it. Let's do this. All right, there's not much to unboxing a filament dryer, so here is the user manual. Space Pi X4, and basically there's foam and a machine inside the box, so. Let's not worry too much about the unboxing part. Let's talk about what this thing's got. Because right now, Creality has a Space Pi and a Space Pi Plus. So one roll and two roll filament dryers. This is the Space Pi X4. So, as you can see, two separate compartments to hold four rolls of filament. Now, I'm looking inside at some of the cool things inside that I'm, I don't actually get footage of. It's a filament dryer, so not, nothing super technical, but really good rollers in there, I noticed when I put the filament in, and desiccant packages. There's a there's compartments on both sides for desiccant, which is a great idea. Once it's dry, it will stay dry. So, oh, I just pulled off that screen cover. It's so satisfying. And now I'm going to load it up with four rolls filament, just so you can see. It does indeed hold four rolls. Now look at this. Look at how these I, I noticed that right away, how they spin so nice. The roller seemed very nice. Okay, let's take a closer look. I guess we should turn it on, right? So, yeah, let's go around to the back and flip on the power switch. Now, on the back, you can see the power switch, but look above there. There is exhaust fans. That's a new feature. And there was also ports to let the filament out at the back or at the front, which I love that. My Space Pi Plus, I wish it had a hole at the back that the filament can come out of. Okay, so you got it labeled there left and right, in case you don't know your left and right, so you can see the signs underneath there. And there you got two separate displays. Now this UI is pretty intuitive. I've never used it before. This, this time that I'm doing this right now is the first time I've ever turned on this machine myself, so I'm just playing with everything, touching all the buttons, and now I'm going to set it. Now, these are all PLA, but I'm going to pretend one of them is not. And it's very much like the CFS. You tap on the roll of filament and tell it what kind of filament that is. That's that one roll. And this other roll, okay, they're both PLA. Set, you can see it's set at 50 degrees. Start that up, and the left side is going. One video finished. Now, yeah. what if you had two different rolls of filament in there that wait a light there's a light okay i'm finding this too you guys i didn't see that when i was looking inside i didn't realize there was a light but there's a light on both sides hilarious i it's something i didn't know i wanted until, <laughs> until i saw it just now okay what if i had pla on this side and the second roll was something that needs hotter temperature, like ABS. ABS dries at like 80 degrees. PLA dries at 50 degrees. So what happens if you mix them? It automatically sets it at the lower temperature. That's the answer. So that's some that's some thinking, at least. You know, it's, it's uh, at least semi-intelligent, more so than I would be, because it's not going to bake your PLA, it's going to keep it at the lowest temperature for the two filaments that are chosen. So you can choose which kind of filament is in which slot. Okay, let's turn the lights off. As fun as they are. Yeah, lighting, exhaust fans, uh, set the temperatures, very handy. Let's see what else. There, there is a lot here in the on the touch screen. You can see it's got temperature, it's got humidity settings. You can auto, you can adjust those two. Sorry, I went past it, but there you can, you can you can go to a lower temperature, higher temperature, as you wish. 
but it does have the presets, which is something I loved about the Space Pi. When I got my Space Pi Plus, I loved being able to just choose the temp, just choose the filament. I'm putting TPU in there, choose it, the, the machine knows what to set it at. I don't need to figure any of that out. So yeah, what, what more do you want to know is probably the price. And I heard it's going to be about 199. I don't know. That's what I heard. I think it's definitely going to be our most expensive filament dryer. Well, exhaust fans on the back there. I'm just seeing the lights for the first time here that are at the front there. See the two holes at the back for the filament to go out. Love that out the back because I can set it beside my K1 and my K1C and run it out the back to the back of the printer. Look at that. See that roll? I don't think the Space Pi Plus rolls like that. I'm going to test it when I get home. So anyway, there you go. Locking lids, yada, yada, yada. It's a filament dryer. What else do you want to know? It's amazing. I think it's really cool. I can't wait to uh, bring one home. I heard I'm, I get, to, uh, this one here is for our live stream room. If you don't know, we do a live stream on the official Creality channels on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. We do a, a, a live stream every Wednesday morning, China time, which is Tuesday night on the American and Canadian time zone. So check us out. This one is in our live stream room. We will be talking about it a little bit. Now that it's been released, it's not a secret anymore. So I'm super excited for you guys to give us your thoughts, give us your opinions. I mean, it's, it's I personally think it's hard to have strong opinions about a filament dryer. I, do I need a four roll filament dryer? I absolutely do not. I, I like my Space Pi Plus. I have use for two rolls at a time. I don't think I need a four roll, but will I take one home when they give me one? Heck yeah, I will. <laughs> I will find room for it. It is not a CFS, just filament dryer. Four roll filament dryer. I hope that's all we make. I hope we don't need to make any bigger ones. One roll, two roll, and four roll. Seems like enough for me. All right, thanks. As always, really appreciate you guys watching. If you lasted all the way to the end here, just staring at the front of this machine while I yak, then you deserve uh, some sort of award. So tell me in the comments that you made it to the end. And I guarantee you we won't have more than five people say they were listening to me for seven minutes and 38 seconds. All right, be nice to somebody today. Have a great one.